Hi, so let's talk about Ibrahim Traore. The young president of Burkina Faso could start World War III. Ah, you heard me right. And I'm going to explain to you what I mean. And you've probably seen some of the videos on YouTube talking about this young charismatic leader and president of Burkina Faso. At just 35 years, he has achieved so many things within one year than was achieved by the previous civilian leadership in the past 40 years. He has, for example, drilled more than 100 boreholes making water accessible to thousands of Burkina Fasos. And he's doing a lot of other things. For example, he has improved the security of that country. And to do this, he partnered with Russia. And they had this defense pact, and Russia started supporting Burkina Faso with their military hardware. This ensured that they were able to secure their borders. They even got about 16 military helicopters and two jets among other equipment and this enabled them to kick out islamist jihadists that were trying to take over that country because the islamist jihadists had almost taken half of mali and then they were moving south to Burkina faso so he did that within that just one year but that's not the reason why i'm saying he's going to start world war three the background story is that after the first attempted coup on Ibrahim Traore, you know, he has had five attempted coup on him. So after the first one, he knew that France was behind it. So he went to Russia to look for protection. And that's when they signed the defense pact. And Russia supported him with about 2,500 mercenary Wagner group uh, from the Wagner group. And these are the mercenaries that are also protecting him somehow. Right. And they're also responsible for the success in fighting the jihadists. The same thing is happening in Niger. They have the same mercenaries protecting the coup leaders there. And you also the same thing in Mali. And the success is that the jihadists have totally disappeared from these three countries. As a matter of fact, in the last six months, there haven't been a jihadist attack in those three countries. So they've disappeared. And a lot of people in West Africa are wondering how France stayed in those countries for more than 10 years with 11,000 troops in those three countries pretending to be fighting the Islamist jihadists and failing. But with just few mercenaries and these new leaders, they've done it in, in one year. So France is not happy because of this embarrassment. They are not happy that they've lost their French interest their French interest in West Africa. Remember, they were still extorting colonial taxes from these countries. So they also feel that other countries are going to follow these ones and stop paying up. So France is not happy. They want vengeance. And they've identified Russia as the source of their troubles. Mais en dynamique, rien ne doit être, rien ne doit être exclu. Nous ferons tout ce qu'il faut pour que la Russie ne puisse pas gagner cette guerre. Alors, je n'ai absolument pas dit que la France n'y était pas favorable. Je ne lèverai pas l'ambiguïté des débats de ce soir en donnant des noms. Je dis que ça a été évoqué parmi les options. Je vous ai dit. Les... They don't want to believe that that five-year-old Burkina Faso soldier is behind all this. So they are saying it is Russia, and they have to fight Russia. So last week, the French president suggested that they intend to send French troops to Ukraine to fight Russia. And he was asking other NATO members, you know, particularly Germany, uh, Britain, and others, to also join him to fight the Russians. And look, we all agree that Russia is struggling to fight the Ukrainians. So if you throw in the NATO troops, they are really going to suffer. And they've said that in, if it gets to that point, they're going to use nuclear weapons. So they will start probably with the, the tactical nukes, which are smaller bombs with the nuclear, and it hit Ukraine with those ones. And along the way, a mistake will be made by one of those NATO countries, which will reiterate. I suspect France will do that. Reiterate with a tactical nuclear of their own. And the Russians will go a notch higher and fire an intercontinental ballistic missile, you know, the ICBM. And that's how World War Three could start because of Ibrahim Traore. Because France is mad. They want vengeance. And they want someone to blame. And they've 
decided it is Russia. They are blaming Russia for their loss of you know influence in West Africa. Even though we know it is Ibrahim Traore and Asimi Goitra and the other guys in Niger that did that. But they don't want to say it was Ibrahim Traore, a 35-year-old soldier. No, they want something to blame and it is Russia. And they want World War III because of that.